Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another virtual lecture. In today's video, we're going to learn how to construct confidence interval for a population proportion. Just like before, we will have two parts to the formula, which is the point estimate plus minus our margin of error. Okay, if you recall this table, see? If we're talking about the population proportion, which is pi, okay, the best estimate for pi is p, which is the sample proportion. Okay, therefore, we need to adjust the formula a little bit. Okay, so it becomes like this. Okay, this is our point estimate, which is P, sample proportion, plus minus the margin of error. Now, our margin of error looks also different because now, again, we're dealing with proportion. So, remember, the uh, margin of error consists of two parts, the confidence level and the standard error. Z is still our... Um, level of confidence okay however our standard error is this p minus 1 minus p over n square root of it okay so this will be our formula to find the confidence interval for population proportion let's take a look at this example miss maria wilson is considering to run for mayor in a town before completing the petitions she decides to conduct a survey of voters a sample of 400 voters reveal that 300 would support her in the election. A. Estimate the value of the population proportion. Now remember guys, we do not know what the population proportion is. That is why we need to construct the confidence interval. Okay, we can say that the population proportion is not known. However, the best estimate of the population proportion is the sample proportion, which can be estimated from this formula. Remember? P equals to X over N. So in our case here, we know that the X or the number of people who are willing to vote for her is 300 over the sample size, which is 400. So our P or sample proportion is 0 0.75. Moving on to the next question, develop a 99% confidence interval for the population proportion. Okay, so uh, we just write down the formula. As we always, we begin with the point estimate. Okay, so the point estimate for population proportion is the sample proportion, P, plus minus the margin of error. Margin of error consists of two parts, the confidence level and the standard error. Okay, so from our question just now, P, we got um, 0 0.75, right? Okay, so plus minus, now look at your Z table. Okay, as usual, so we're asked to find a 99% confidence interval. So if you've memorized the table that I've given you in the, I think, previous two videos, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so 99% uh, corresponds to a Z value of 2.58. Okay, so now we want to write down what is our margin of error, uh, sorry, standard of error. Okay, P is 0 0.75 times 1 minus P, or 1 minus 0 0.75 over our sample size is 400 in this question. Okay, so all of this we square root it. Okay, so why don't you pause the video and try to work this out. Okay, so I'll give you the answer straight away. So it is between 0.694 and 0.806. So how do we interpret? Okay, this is the answer, but if you want to interpret, you say that uh, we are 99% confident that the true population proportion is between 69% and 81%. 